A historic winter storm has tangled holiday travel and brought dangerous conditions to a big chunk of the United States, but no airline has struggled more to navigate the Christmas holiday rush than Southwest Airlines. Southwest cancelled more than 2,900 flights Monday, at least 70% of its schedule for the day, and more than 2,500 flights Tuesday as of 9.10 a.m. Eastern Time, at least 60% of its schedule, according to Flight Tracker FlightAware. The disruptions add to chaos that has left people stranded at airports across the country, many of them with little idea of when they can get home or where their bags are. The number of cancelled flights for Southwest Monday was more than 10 times higher than for Delta, which had the second most cancellations by a US airline with 265 flights called off. Other airlines have also ordered large-scale cancellations in the past week. Southwest spokesperson Chris Perry told NPR the airline's disruptions are a result of the winter storm's lingering effects, adding that it hopes to stabilize and improve its operation with more favorable weather conditions. Other issues that have exacerbated the airline's struggle to accommodate the holiday rush include problems with connecting flight crews to their schedules, Perry said. That issue has made it difficult for employees to access crew scheduling services and get reassignments. Kyle Potter, executive editor of Thrifty Traveler, called it an incredibly complex task for an airline with a network as vast as Southwest's to coordinate staffing and scheduling, particularly after weather delays. But with many areas seeing clear skies on Monday, the airline would seem to have few obvious reasons to cancel so many flights. Potter calls it a full-blown meltdown. This is really as bad as it gets for an airline, Potter said. We've seen this again and again over the course of the last year or so, when airlines really just struggle especially after a storm, but there's pretty clear skies across the country. The airline said in a statement Monday that it will fly about one-third of its schedule for the next several days as it continues to recover its operations. The U.S. Department of Transportation called the cancellations, delays and customer service response unacceptable. The department will examine whether cancellations were controllable and if Southwest is complying with its customer service plan, USDOT said in a statement.